Good evening and thank you for being here. My name is Ruth Moffitt and I'm the DEI Director with the City of Gaston. I want to share with you today, as we all know, the City of Gaston and this new administration has come in and as we say, moving without breaks. But with this bill passed, we will come to a halt. We will not be able to continue to grow as we have been growing. The following organizations would be immediately cut to zero. That's the Bevel Manufacturing Center, Downtown Gaston, Gaston Airport Authority, Gaston City Schools, which we fund right now close to a million dollars. So the arts program, the school resource officers would immediately be cut. Gaston Commercial Development, Gaston Cultural Arts Foundation, uh, that's the tourism, uh, Gaston State Community College, that's scholarships, um, Snail Grove, Etowah Free Clinic, Etowah Baptist Mission Center, Etowah County Food Bank, as well as other nonprofits. Every one of them would be cut to zero immediately. And that's about $2.3 million of our budget. As well as those organizations, Municipal Court would no longer uh, be able to have three magistrates, but would, would, would have to go to one. With the increase of crime, that will be catastrophic for Gaston. As well, uh, the library, the East Gaston branch, would have to close immediately. Programs in Alabama City would close. The Gaston Library would lose, lose 13 to 14 part-time employees. They would lose three full-time employees. The main branch would have to operate on a rotating basis with reduced hours, which would affect Beautiful Rainbow, who is doing some amazing work. We would also see within our Museum of Arts, they would lose one full-time person. All outreach programs in the city and county would immediately cease. As well, art exhibits that bring in tourism in our community, they would have to decrease those from 40 down to about 24. Our transportation department would have to lay off 13 uh, part-time employees. Our dark services would have to cut their ability to make their routes due to uh, the fuel. With the budgets being cut like that and the, the FTA and the grants that we have to put up a city match for, it would put us in jeopardy of losing some of those grants through transportation. And lastly, but not least, our transportation service runs a route on Saturdays uh, for people that need dialysis. That route would have to be cut. So we're asking you today to please contact Senator Jones and please ask him to drop this plan to defund Etowah County. Thank you. 